The Ariane 6 launch zone consists of a range of facilities and connections. Once the rocket is integrated with its pad, it becomes one whole system. This ensemble of buildings is the launch pad itself, and from one side to the other, it's 200 meters wide. That's about the size of two football fields. And this is the mobile gantry. It is as tall as the Statue of Liberty and slightly heavier than the Eiffel Tower. Ariane 6 is assembled horizontally, then transferred to the pad where it is raised vertically thanks to the gantry. The fairing with the satellites inside is hoisted and connected to the top. The mobile gantry protects the launcher during preparations on the pad and it allows the teams to work on the rocket until shortly before liftoff. There are 22 levels with platforms giving the teams access to all the parts of the Iron 6 launchers. And I am on top of the rocket. And this is the fairing. This is where inside the satellites will be sitting comfortably waiting for long. And I'm in the bottom down here in the bowels of the building. And these big pipes run all the way, 300 meters from the outside to the rocket, delivering cryogenic fuel. It is complex engineering. They must be kept at extremely cold temperature in order to maintain the oxygen in the hydrogen as liquids. Shortly before launch, the gantry rolls back along rails, revealing Ariane 6. The mechanical, electrical and fluid lines, which join the rocket to its pad, disconnect when the launcher lifts off. This is a giant exhaust pipe, and during the launch, all the fiery blues will be coming out of there. And for Iron Seas, we have added the very special deflector. It's used to divide the flames in two parts, and inside here is going to be 3,000 degrees during the launch. So you better not be on this pad during liftoff. Another important player is the water tower. As the rocket lifts off, water deluges the pad to reduce vibrations on our precious passengers inside. We are six meters underneath the pad, with the rocket sitting right on top of it. And the water comes from the water tower through these massive pipes and then up onto the cable. And the water is drawn from a dedicated lake. And once it's used, it's carefully treated in order to protect the wide variety of animals and plants and release back into nature. Once it's done its job, the launch pad is reset for the next mission. Ready to continue the outstanding story of Ariane.